Now, the question that we want to discuss today is that what travels through the conductor fast? Is it the heat or the electricity? The effect of heat is uh, propagated faster or the effect of electricity? Now, this question is related to drift velocity. So, drift velocity we have already discussed in a, in a previous class. So, we will not be discussing again. But the key idea is that as soon as I apply the electric field uh, to the conductor, the electrons inside the conductor start having a net velocity in one direction. Okay, Most of the, the velocity of these electrons is still random, but they have a net component in one direction, which is known as drift velocity. So this is the net effect of all the cumulative effect of all the individual electron velocities. Okay, So this is the drift velocity. And the, this, this drift velocity is of the order of millimeter. Uh, per second okay so that, that that drift velocity is very very small so as soon as i apply the electric field which means that i have turned on the switch here the drift velocity is actually small and it would take a while to for the electrons to drift to the other end which might be my light bulb so there might be a light bulb here okay so if uh, it was the electrons it was the if, the if the electrons were traveling at drift velocity and those were responsible for uh, for turning on the light bulb then it would take a while for, for the electrons to go from one end where I have the switch to the other end where I have the light bulb and turn it on. Okay, But that is not what our experience actually says. Our experience tells us that as soon as I turn on the switch, the light bulb turns on. And that is because the electric field that I apply when I turn on the switch, it travels to the other end at the speed of light. Okay, So it is the electric field which is traveling at the speed of light. It reaches the other end and it affects the electrons on, on the other end even before these electrons reach there. Okay, So it affects the electrons here and these, these electrons start moving uh, through our light and turn the light on. Doing work on the light and turn the light on. Okay, So the net effect of this electricity reaches the other end because of this electric field traveling at the speed of light okay this is the speed of light okay so the impact of uh, the electricity or this electric field is reaching the other end at the speed of light now what about heat now what happens in the case of heat there is no such thing as an as an electric field in the case of heat so the speed uh, at which the heat is traveling from when i heat the one end the way it reaches the other end is through the process of conduction and how does conduction work these atoms they start vibrating and they in turn uh, touch the other atoms nearby and they push the other atoms nearby and they give them electricity they, they, they give them energy okay so they pass on their energy atom to atom through the lattice that is how the energy moves in the case of heat it goes from one of the uh, atoms to the next atom to the next atom to the next atom and that is how this this particular heat is traveling there is no such thing as electric field which can travel at the speed of light in the case of heat and therefore the effect of heat is much slower the transmission of heat through the metals even through the metals is actually much slower than the uh, transmission of electricity from let's say the switch to the light bulb hopefully this concept is very very clear very very important from the point of view of your exam okay thank you